Welcome back. I'm standing next to what I think is a very beautiful Renaissance painting of Friar Luca Pacioli. Luca Pacioli was a friar, a religious man, but he was also a mathematician. And because of his standing as a mathematician, he became the teacher and good friend of Leonardo da Vinci, who is, of course, the most famous of all the Renaissance men. Luca Pacioli is now known as the father of accounting and bookkeeping. But our interest in him is because he was the author of a book called the Divina Proportioni, or On the Divine Proportion. The Divine Proportion is a number. It's a number that we now call the Golden Ratio. And Luca Pacioli obviously thought this number was divine was a godly number. We're going to see that this number has a very close relationship to the Fibonacci sequence. So now what I want to do is to introduce to you the golden ratio. So what is the golden ratio? You can understand what the golden ratio is by starting with a line segment and dividing the line segment into two segments one of length x and one of length y. And we're going to assume that the, x, the length of x is larger than the length of y. And of course, they're both positive because they're both lengths of a line segment. So what is the golden ratio? We're going to call the golden ratio capital phi, the Greek letter phi. It's the ratio of the larger line segment x to the smaller line segment y, x over y, where these line segments satisfy a particular equality, that the larger segment over the smaller x over y is the same as the total length of the line segment, x plus y, divided by the larger segment x. So golden ratio are these ratios, x over y or x plus y over x, but we require that x over y equals x plus y over x. So we can do some mathematics on this uh, equation. So let's try and, and do that. So x over y is phi. So we have x over y is our phi. And then we can manipulate x plus y over x. So we can divide x by x. x over x is 1. And then we can divide y by x. Well, y divided by x is just the reciprocal of x divided by y. So y divided by x is 1 over 5. So the golden ratio satisfies the equation phi equals 1 plus 1 over phi. Okay? We can take this equation and we can multiply both sides by phi and then bring everything to the left-hand side of the equation. So what do we get? So we multiply phi by phi, so we get phi squared. And then phi squared is equal to 1. We multiply 1 by phi and bring it to the left side. So we get minus phi equal to 1 plus 1 over phi. We multiply 1 over phi by phi. That becomes 1. We bring it to the left side. So we get minus 1. And this is equal to 0. So the golden ratio satisfies a rather simple equation. It's called a quadratic equation. Phi squared minus phi minus 1 equals 0. We can use the quadratic formula to solve for phi, right? If you have an equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, you know that x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So we can apply the quadratic equation to solve for phi. 
there are two roots, but one is negative. And we know that phi is the ratio of two lengths, so phi has to be positive. So the positive root, if you just use the quadratic formula, you can show that this is equal to the square root of 5 plus 1 divided by 2. And that's the golden ratio. And this has a numerical value. It's an irrational number, but we can write it, uh, approximate it, 1.618 something. And that's the famous golden ratio just a number, okay? We'll see why this golden ratio is divine uh, later on in this course, and we'll also see what the connection is between the golden ratio and the Fibonacci numbers. Uh, in addition to the golden ratio, it's useful for us to define an another number which is called the golden ratio conjugate. Uh, rather than using big phi, we use a small letter phi, also a phi but a small case phi, to define the golden ratio conjugate. This one we define as square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2. What is the difference between the golden ratio and the golden ratio conjugate? Well, the golden ratio conjugate, you can see, is one less than the golden ratio. If we subtract 1 from capital Phi, then the 1 half minus 1 becomes minus 1 half. So 1 less than the golden ratio is just going to be 0 0.618 something, right? So it's just the fractional part of the golden ratio. So we can write um, Phi equals the golden ratio minus 1. But phi also has another relationship to the golden ratio. So we had the golden ratio phi is equal to 1 plus 1 over the golden ratio. The golden ratio phi is equal to 1 plus 1 over the golden ratio. So 1 over the golden ratio is equal to little phi, the golden ratio conjugate. So the golden ratio conjugate is also equal to 1 divided by the golden ratio. Okay? So the golden ratio is already a special number that if we, the fractional part of the golden ratio is actually just the reciprocal of the golden ratio. This property will, will will lead to this golden ratio being uh, special in a very specific way that will be important in its appearance in nature. Okay, so that's the golden ratio, the divine proportion. I'll see you next time.